A heritage is what you give to someone. A legacy is what you do in someone. The role that the father plays in the life of that boy is extremely important. There are about five or six things that a boy needs to learn from his father. A girl's self-worth hinges on her relationship largely with her father. The dad looked down at her feet and put his hand on one of them and said, honey, you have the most beautiful feet. And she cried. It's worth it. It's the greatest job that we've been given. Your marriage is worth it. Your kids are worth it. Does your family know that you are fighting for them? Does your wife know? Does your husband know that you will fight for them, that you will pursue them to the ends of the earth? Because anger does not motivate. Your kids don't care if you get mad. I think they rather like it. <laughs> and anger, I think, is the poorest motivator. It doesn't work with children. And in fact, assassinates your authority and your leadership at home. Christian fathering puts into focus the need to recognize the most important meeting, a phone call or trip that you can take is with your family. If America is going to survive, it will be because husbands and fathers begin to put their families at the highest level of priorities and reserve something of their time, effort, and energy for leadership within their own home. Now folks, childish irresponsibility is an absolute certainty in childhood. I think God made children unable to carry adult levels of responsibility. Probably the defiant child, a strong-willed child, probably has greater potential for character development and for accomplishment and maybe for leadership than the compliant child. But building a strong and secure bond between a man and a woman is the cornerstone of satisfaction in living. Are those roses from focus? Or are they from you personally? Why does it matter? <laughs> Ladies, it matters a lot, doesn't it? <laughs>